appreciate it, man. I'm a big fan. Me too. This one goes out to a couple friends of mine. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. No problem. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Refreshment calls. Coors Light answers. Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Freshman calls Coors Light answers. Frost brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Thanks. Anytime. Cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Frost brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Light, the world's most refreshing beer. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Anybody else? Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Day two of the shoot. We are waiting to get on the helicopter and we're gonna see if the snow clears up so we can do that. I've done some Hollywood work, I've done other commercials, done some Hollywood movies, and uh, it's kind of, it's cool to see this bigger um, production, higher production level stuff and just watch these guys, how they operate. Helicopter dumping explosives on various mountains. Just another day at the office. The mountains don't care how much money is being spent, what our schedule is, what because it's a sunny day. You know, the mountains are a serious place that need to be respected regardless of the circumstances. Unfortunately, because of the weather, we're gonna have to we have to end for the day. And God willing, our director will successfully be choppered back. Uh, yeah, what? A little dicey. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very complicated rig. Uh, the ASK was a fairly direct flight over a span of about 600 feet. There was some serious speed happening, and, um, and that's what the director wanted, you know, and we made it happen. It was about 800 feet deep, was what they were telling me, and it was, it was, it was pretty far down there. Pretty amazing to watch the logistics of making something like this work and, and the artistic uh, piece that's put into it from Dave and, and the other camera people. Action when you're ready. People have been ice climbing on bergs in the past, but sort of to intentionally jump on small bergs is not something that's really been done before. 
think if you had a full cold water immersion out there, I would think you'd probably have about 40, 45 minutes. One day we were up standing on a buried and right across from it was uh, one side of two houses. What was underneath there, I mean, it was like a city block and it just rolled and we were right next to it watching it go. First position where you guys jump from. It's nice to be able to get up here and see sort of your idea realized. This mountain doesn't own a watch. It's not in a hurry to get where it's going. And yet, after millions of years, it has arrived. It's what inspired us to cold age our beer, which, thankfully, takes a little less than a million years. Where were you born? It's a question asked all the time, because where you're from shapes who you are, inspires how you do things. And when that inspiration comes from a place this refreshing, this majestic, this, well, you get the idea. Coors Light, born in the Rockies. Evita el exceso. The Rocky Mountains, an area in the United States so majestic, it can only be described by one word, perfection. It inspired us to brew a beer at one degree Celsius in order to bring you the most refreshing taste and cold activated mountains to show you when your Coors 